Welcome to Homework Help with Dr. Eddie Morgan. Remember in each of these problems we're giving you a similar problem that is almost exactly like the problem on your homework. So you can look at the homework help problem and it should give you enough for you to figure out how to do your problem. So let's begin. In the first problem it asks us to name two operations that must be undone to solve the following equation. Well we're solving the equation for x so let's find our variable x and look next to it and see what operations are being done on the operation. Well we notice first of all that x is being multiplied by 3. We have 3 times x. So one of the operations we're going to have to undo is multiplication. At the same time after the 3 times the x we add 7 so the other operation that has to be done is going to be addition. So those are the two operations we have to undo. So let's go on to the next problem. Once again, notice, find your x. Here's my x. What's happening to x? Well, x is being multiplied by 4. So we're going to have to undo multiplication. And then they're subtracting 5. So now we're going to have to undo the subtraction. Okay, those are our two operations. Third problem. Here, notice we have x divided by 4. Remember that sign there means divide by 4. So we're going to have to undo a division. And then they added 2. So we're going to have to undo the plus 2 with an addition. Next problem. Once again, notice here's our variable, and it's being divided by 3. So I have the variable m divided by 3, so I'm going to have to undo division. And then I have a subtract 3, so I'm going to have to undo subtraction. All right. In problem 2, we're simply going to take the four same problems we looked at in problem 1 where we identified the two operations that need to be undone and we're simply going to undo them. Some basic things we're also going to be looking at how to do mathematical proofs which means every time we do something we need to give a reason. Usually when we have a proof the first reason given is what we call the given. This is the problem that's been given to us. This is where we start. And in starting this again we need to look at the two operations that need to be undone. We saw the variable here x and we saw that there were two operations being done to x. First of all there was the multiplication three times x so we had to undo the multiplication and then second there's the plus seven. Now one of the things we discover is that while it's possible to start and undo either operation first it's usually easier to undo them in the reverse PEMDAS order. You remember PEMDAS. PEMDAS says if we're if this was if x was like three, we would start by multiplying three times two and then we would add seven. Because we always do the parentheses first, exponent second, and then multiplication or division, they go together, it would be next, and finally addition or subtraction. Now I'll show you later what happens if we do reverse them. It still works, it just gets more complicated. But in our case, we, I want you to get in the habit of always undoing the addition or subtraction first before the multiplication. So as we come here, we're going to undo plus 7. What's the opposite of adding 7? Subtracting 7. Now here we get to a fundamental aspect of solving equations. Because the two sides of the equation are equal, you know, you imagine that you had the same number of marbles in, in your right hand and your left hand. If you take marbles away from one hand, they're not equal anymore. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other side. And if you do that, if you always subtract the same number from both sides, your equation is going to stay the same. And this is the property called the subtraction property of equality. Equality in equations. 
and it simply states if you have two expressions that are equal and you take the same amount from both sides they're still going to be equal well notice here now plus 7 and minus 7 add up to 0 and I've eliminated the plus 7 and I'm left with 3x on this side and on the opposite side of the equation sometimes they used to have us actually draw a line here to make sure we understood one side equals the other side and if that helps you do it 16 minus 7 is 9 and so we've changed this equation into this equation okay they're the same equation equivalent equations now we've undone the plus 7 so now we need to undo the the 3 times x what's the opposite of multiplying by 3 the opposite of multiplying by 3 is dividing by 3 so if I take this and divide by 3 and again I got to do it to the other side that's the division property of equality okay again that simply states if you have two expressions that are equal and you divide both sides by the same number that the result will also be equal now notice here why did we divide by 3 because 3 divided by 3 is 1 and that leaves us with just x that's what we want to do when we solve an equation is get down to where there's just x on one side and 9 divided by 3 is 3 and that's our answer x equals 3 now the great thing about equations is you can always check them to see if you're right you don't have to wait for your teacher to grade your paper you can check it yourself we just put it back into the equation for x and see what we get so the equation is 3 times x I say x is 3 so 3 times 3 plus 7 well 3 times 3 is 9 and 9 plus 7 is 16 and notice that's the answer there and there so we know we've done the correct the problem correctly and we have the right answer so let's go on to the next equation problem B <clears throat> first thing we want to do is what are the operations we have to undo and as we saw above we have to undo the 4 times x multiplication and we have to undo the subtract 5 once again we're going to go reverse in PEMDAS so normally when we saw when we're calculating we would do multiplication and division first and then addition and subtraction second we're undoing it so we're going to undo the addition and subtraction first how do we undo subtract 5 the opposite of subtracting 5 is plus 5. Now I forgot in my reasons to state here this is the given our problem and the property that allows me to do this is the addition property of equality it says if you have two two expressions that are equal and you add the same thing to both sides it's still equal so this allows me to do this and negative 5 plus 5 is 0 so I'm left with 4x on this side and on the other side of the equation 15 plus 5 is 20. Now, the next step is to undo the multiplication. I have 4 times x. What's the opposite of multiplying by 4? Dividing by 4. And this is the division property of equality. Once we've done that, the reason we divided by 4, because we know that 4 divided by 4 is 1, so we're left with x. And then 20 divided by 4 is 5, so our answer, our solution is x equal 5. It's always helpful in equations then to check your answer to make sure you got it right. So let's plug this back into here, and we get 4 times 5, and let's figure out what that equals. 4 times 5 is 20 minus 5 is 15 which is what we got there so we have that problem correct <clears throat> okay let's move on to C looking here we have two operations again here's my variable and notice first of all I have 
x divided by 4 and then I have plus 2 so I have division and addition that we have to undo if I look at PEMDAS again and now remember that I am undoing it so I'm going to do undo addition or subtraction first and then multiplication and division so the first thing I'm going to undo is the plus 2 not the division so the opposite the inverse of adding to is subtracting to and my reasons here again the first statement was just the given that was our problem and the property that allows me to subtract the same number from both sides of an equation and still be equal is a subtraction property of equality so plus 2 minus 2 adds up to 0 and I'm left with x over 4 6 minus 2 is 4 so now we're almost there that's the first step now the second step undo divide by 4 the opposite of dividing by 4 is multiplying by 4 so I'm going to take this side here I'm going to multiply this side by 4 and I'm going to multiply this side by 4 now notice if I look at this this is like 4 divided by 1 but 4 divided by 4 here is 1 so I end up with x equals 16 now let's check our answer out put it back into there so 16 divided by 4 plus 2 well 16 divided by 4 is 4 and then 4 plus 2 is 6 which is the answer we got there so we know that we did that problem correctly let's move on to problem 2d for the last part of problem 2 we look again and we find our variable here's m and we see that two operations are being performed on m first of all we notice that m is being divided by 3 so we're going to need to undo division and then we know that then we notice that m over 3 is being subtracted by 3 and so we'll have to undo subtraction again we do the opposite of PEMDAS and since in regular calculation we would do multiplication and division before addition and subtraction to undo we'll undo addition first and we'll undo multiplication and division second all right so we go to our problem now and we notice here's our given that's the problem that we start with and we have division and subtraction we're going to start with undoing subtraction the opposite of subtracting three is adding three and whatever we do to one side of the equation we have to do to the other side of the equation and that property is called the addition property of equality okay so let's simplify this minus 3 and plus 3 add up to 0 so we're left with m over 3 on this side and 2 plus 3 is 5 so now we've eliminated one of the operations next step is to undo the division what's the opposite of dividing by 3 the inverse is multiplying by 3 so I'll multiply this side of the equation by 3 and this side of the equation by 3 and notice that 3 divided by 3 is 1 so I'm left with m on this side and 3 times 5 is 15 now by the way the reason we could do this step here was this is the multiplication property of equality and now we can check our answer there's our answer so let's plug it back in and check it 15 divided by 3 minus 3 15 divided by 3 is 5 5 minus 3 equals 2 that's what this said so we have the correct answer so we solved our we undid both operations and found our answer and then checked it out and we're done 
Let's move on to our next problem. When we look at problem three, once again, we're going to solve a two-step equation. We're going to undo the two operations that are being performed on x. You can look there and see that one operation is 13 times x, so we're going to undo multiplication, and there's a plus 18, so we're going to undo addition. Now, as I said before, we always typically want to undo these in the reverse order of PEMDAS. All right, so normally I'm always thinking that I want to undo this one first and then undo this one second. What would happen if I reverse the order? Well, I want to give you an example here uh, just to see what would happen. Suppose we decided to undo the 13 times x. Well, then what's the opposite of undoing multiplication? It's undoing division. So what I would have to do is come in here and divide this one by 13. And I have to then divide everything by 13. Okay? This is our given. And this would be called our division property of equality. Now, 13 divided by 13 gives me my x. But then I have a fraction, 18 over 13, equals minus 21 over 13. Now, you may be looking at that, and immediately you're getting br fraction brain freeze and going, oh, this is too proud. I got fractions. But notice that the reason this happened is because we undid the division first. Now, the second step, of course, is to undo the addition. So the undo the addition the opposite of adding 1813 is subtracting 1813s. So just hang with me. And we can do that by the subtraction property of equality. And notice now, these two, 1813s minus 1813s is zero. So I'm left with x equals minus 21 thirteenths minus 18 thirteenths. So that's going to be minus 39 thirteenths. And if you were to do the division and go 13 into 39, you would see that that goes three times. So this is actually negative three. So there's my answer, x equals minus three. Now notice it worked that I undid the division first, the multiplication first, and then the subtraction. But watch what happens if I do it in the order I suggested by undoing addition and subtraction first. Let me just write the problem down here again and start over. Suppose we start by subtracting 18 first. All right. So now this becomes 0, and I have 13x equals minus 39. Notice I didn't get any fractions this time. And now we'll undo this 13 times x by dividing by 13. 13 divided by 13 is 1. 13 goes into 39 three times, or minus 3. Notice we got the exact same answer uh, by undoing the addition first and then the multiplication. But you notice that the reason we often, I often suggest that you undo the addition or subtraction first is because then you're not likely to end up with as many fractions. And if you're like me, you probably don't like to do lots of fractions. Okay? Once again in problem four, let's find the two operations. Notice that we have seven times x and then we have subtract 5. So we're going to undo the multiplication and then we're going to undo the subtraction. All right. Now we've learned from the last one we could do either. We could start by undoing the 7 times by dividing everything by 7 but then we'd end up with fractions. It would work. Uh, but we found that it's easier to undo the addition or subtraction. You remember our PEMDAS it's easier when you're solving, when you're undoing, to start here. 
and then here. So let's undo subtract 5 first. What is the opposite of subtracting 5? The opposite of subtracting 5 is adding 5. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. Now what's our reasons? Well first of all, of course we started with our given and then our property here is we added 5 to both sides of the equation and that's the addition property of equality. It says that if you have two expressions that are equal and you add the same number to both sides the resulting expressions are also equal. Well negative 5 plus 5 is 0. So we're left on this side of the equation with 7x over here, negative 12 plus 5 is going to be negative 7. Now our second step. Let's undo 7 times x. The opposite of multiplying by 7, dividing by 7. And this is the according to the division property of equality. Seven divided by seven is one, so I'm left with x. Negative seven divided by seven is going to be negative one. And there's my answer. Let's check it out to see if it's true. Plug it back into here, and we get seven times negative one minus five. Seven times negative one is negative seven. Negative seven subtract five is negative 12. And you see that's the correct answer, right? So we've solved that equation. Number five. Now the only thing different on number five is that our variables on the right side of the equation. By the way, if that really concerns you, you can always do this. You could always just simply take this and turn it around and do and work the equation this way. You could turn around and say, okay, 4x minus 11 equals 15 and solve it that way if you want the variable on that side. We're not going to worry about it for right now because I can show you at the end we'll just solve it and reverse it down below. Notice our two uh, operations again though. We have 4 times x and we have subtract 11. So we start here. This is our given. What's the first operation we're going to undo? Multiplication and subtraction. The reverse of PEMDAS, we're going to undo the subtraction. So let's start by the opposite of subtracting 11 is to add 11, and we always have to add it to both sides of the equation because that's what keeps it equal. This is, again, the addition property of equality. This is the reason we can do this and know that we're still right. Negative 11 plus 11 is 0. So here, 15 plus 11 is 26. And that equals now what's left, 4x. Okay. So now we're just looking at the variable. How do we undo 4 times x? <clears throat> well, we divide both sides by 4. And we're using the division property of equality. Four divided by four is one. Twenty-four goes into that. Four goes into that. Four goes into that. Six. If I do the multiplication over here, the division over here, four into twenty-six. Four goes into twenty-six six times, with two left over. So that means the answer is six and two fourths, or I can reduce that to six and a half. So six and a half equals eight. All right. So let's check our answer on this one. Oh, by the way, I could have left that as simply uh, another way to do this. I could have said 26 divided by four and take a two out of each of them. And I could have got 13 halves. So let's take a look at this. Let me, let me put this back into here. So I'm gonna start with the four, four times six and a half minus 11. Well, to multiply two numbers, they have to be fractions. So here I'm gonna change this back and make this four times 13 halves minus 11. 
And so we end up with 4 divided by 2 is 2. So this is 26 minus 11. And 26 minus 11 is 15. And notice that's the answer there. And so we did have our correct answer. And so x equals 6 and a half equals x is our answer. Now lots of times when you get this, you're just going to write down the answer as turn it around and say, okay, x equals six and a half because they're equal by the symmetric property they can be ex turned around that way all right next problem problem six is similar to problem five in that the variables on the right side here a um, couple things to notice here first of all I want to notice here that my operations what's being done to X First of all, x is being multiplied. This is minus 3 times x. So I have to undo a multiplication. And then the next part's kind of tricky a little bit. Students often will look and they'll see that negative sign and they'll think, oh, I'm subtracting 7. No, you're not really subtracting 7 because this is really, if I were to write it over here, this is plus 7 minus 3x. What's being done here is I'm adding 7. So when I go to undo the operation, I'm not going to subtract 7. I'm going to undo 7. And you get yourself in a mess. If you said, oh, that's subtraction, watch what happened. If you say, oh, this is, what's the opposite of subtracting 7? And you said, oh, I'm going to add 7 to both sides. Okay, well, why? that's fine. 25 and 7 is 32. But what's 7 plus 7? That's 14. I mean, that's true, but it, did I help myself at all? No, I didn't get rid of the 7. So if you actually do that, and, and you're correct, some students will put plus 7, and then they'll say that's 0. No, 7 plus 7 is 0. So that's wrong. Not wrong, it's just not the best way to go. So let me just rewrite the equation here. It's our given. And now we're going to undo the plus 7 first. Remember, we typically undo the addition or subtraction before the multiplication. So let's undo plus 7 by subtracting 7. Okay, 7 minus 7 this time is 0. So I end up here with 18 equals negative 3x. And we did that because of the subtraction property of equality. Now we can undo the x being multiplied by minus 3x. So I'm going to divide this by both sides by minus 3. So minus 3 divided by minus 3 is 1. So that's x on that side. 18 divided by minus 3, a positive divided by negative is a negative is negative 6. And there's my answer. And if I want to change it, I can make it x equals minus 6. By the way, again, filling in our reasons, the reason we could divide both sides by 3 is the division property of equality. Okay? So let's check our answer out. Let's go to this side here, the right side. 7 minus 3x, or 7 minus 3 times minus 6. Negative 3 times negative 6, and negative times a negative is a positive. So this becomes 7 plus 18, and 7 plus 18 is 25, which is that answer. So we know we have the correct answer. Okay? Problem 7. Our x is back on the left side, so we're not going to have to flip it at the end. Notice our two, what are our two operations? First of all, we have x divided by 4, so we're going to have to undo division with multiplication. And then we have plus 6, so we're going to have to undo plus 6 with subtract 6. Where do we start? Because we have a division and an addition we do the opposite of PEMDAS and we undo the addition first. So the opposite of adding 6 is subtracting 6. This is our given and we're using the subtraction 
property of equality. Six minus six is zero. So we have x over four. Nine minus six is three. Now we're going to undo the x divided by four. The opposite of dividing by four is multiplying by four. So I'm gonna multiply this side by four and this side by four. And four divided by four is one, so I'm left with x. Three times four is 12. So my answer is x equal 12. Now let's plug it in and see if it works. 12 divided by four, x over four plus six. 12 divided by four is three. And three plus six is nine, which is what we have there. So we know our answer is correct. All right, problem eight, still the same kind of problem. They just switched the numbers around on us. Note the x is here. And notice the two operations. First, we have x divided by nine. So we're gonna have to reverse the division with multiplication. And then we have minus three. So that, think of that as subtraction. Remember, I could rewrite this as x divided by nine minus three, and then you'd see clearly that what we're gonna undo here is subtract three, all right? So here's our given, our first step again. We could do either one. We could undo the division first and then the subtraction, but typically it's easier to undo the addition or subtraction first. So the opposite of subtracting three is to add three. And notice when you do this correctly, that goes away. That's what you're trying to do. You're trying to eliminate all the numbers on one side and just leave you with x. So that just leaves us with the x over nine and then two plus three is five. This was the addition. Property of equality. Now, how do we undo divide by nine? What's the opposite of division? Multiplication. So we're gonna multiply that side by nine and this side by nine, and that is the multiplication property of equality. And now we'll simplify. Nine divided by nine is one, that leaves us x and nine times five is 45. Sometimes you'll see them write this, they'll say simplify. We went from here to here because we simplified the numbers. All right, so there's our answer, but let's check it out. So we have minus three plus x over nine or 45 divided by nine. Well, 45 divided by nine is five. So negative three plus five, or if you switch them around, five minus three, equals two, and you see that's the correct answer. All right, only two. Similar to the last one, we have a subtract seven, we have a subtract seven, and a multiply by four. So we're gonna undo the subtraction before the multiplication. So the opposite of subtracting seven is add seven to both sides of the equation. Negative seven plus seven is zero, so I'm left with four x equals nine plus seven is 16. This was the addition property of equality. Now we have four times x, the opposite of multiplying is dividing. So we'll undo four times x by dividing both sides by four. And four divided by four is one, so we're left with x. 16 divided by four is also four. So that looks like our answer. And this was the division property of equality. Now we'll check our answer by putting this answer back into here. Minus seven plus four x or four times four, what's that equal? 
4 times 4 is 16, negative 7 plus 16, or switch them around, 16 minus 7 is 9, and notice that's the answer. And so we have the correct answer for number 9. And now our last problem. This time we've kind of done all the things to try to just confuse you as much as possible. Here's our x. And notice we have divide, it's multiplied by minus 3, and we have a subtract 7. Okay? So, again, I could write this, I could switch them on the other sides. I could actually rewrite this this way. I could put minus 3x minus 7 equals 14. That's actually the same equation. I flipped it around and then I used the community property to flip these two around, minus 3x and minus 7. But let's just look back here. So we have a subtraction and a multiplication. So always we typically undo the addition or subtraction first. So here's our given. So we're going to undo the subtract 7 by adding 7 to both sides of the equation. And that's the addition property of equality. We're dealing with equations. Two expressions are equal. That's why we end up using these properties of equality. Well, negative 7 plus 7 is 0. 14 plus 7 is 21 equals. That's 0, and we're left with minus 3x. Okay? So now, how do we undo multiply by negative 3? We undo it by dividing by negative 3. And again, it's an equation, so we do both sides, and this is the division property of equality. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 is x. And then 21 divided by negative 3, a positive divided by negative is a negative. x equals minus 7. Or we can flip that and say x equals minus 7. Okay? By the way, if you get up here and you just divided by 3 instead of negative 3, you would have still not gotten rid of the negative. You'd have had a negative x equals that. And uh, so just make sure when you're dividing, you get rid of the divide by the negative as well. Let's check out our answer by putting it back into here. I'm going to put it back on this side here. Negative 7 minus 3x minus 3 times minus 7. Well, negative 3 times negative 7 is positive 21. Positive 21 minus 7 is 14, and you notice that's here. And so we have the correct equation. All right, I hope this helps you with your homework. Remember a couple simple rules. Whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do to the others. Otherwise, they're not equal anymore. And second, we, we solve by undoing the operations. We undo addition with subtraction, and subtraction with addition. We undo multiplication with division and division with multiplication. And we usually find it easier to undo the addition or subtraction before we undo the multiplication division. Good luck with your homework and see you later.